Welcome to Rusty Cake Studio, I'm Rosie of Gouda and today I'm going to show you how to make Thomas the Tank Engine Cake. Let's start with an 8 inch round cake. I've already filled and freeze for about 20 minutes. This is going to make the sculpting a lot easier. First we made the cake rectangular and save the extra pieces for later. Sculpt the front top part of the cake which is a cylinder form. Then sculpt the back top which is a little curvy roof and taller than the front part. To make it taller we can use one of the cake pieces that we saved from the beginning. Clean the base with a brush and cover the cake with buttercream. Refrigerate while we prepare the fondant. Roll out the blue fondant in a rectangular shape and make sure it is big enough to cover the entire cake. Set aside. Take the cake out of the fridge and cut the base the same size of the cake and it's ready to be covered. Cover the cake with a blue fondant and give it shape with your hands smoothing on top and around the cake and lifting any pleats. Just follow the shape of the sculpted cake for a better looking finish. Then cut the excess of fondant with a knife. Concentrate in sealing all the seams that we left from when we cut out the excess. When it's done, put the cake on a turntable and set aside. Roll out black fondant and cut a rectangle for the roof and place it on with some water. Also cut out a long strip of half inch thick and long enough to cover around the cake. Place it with some water all around the bottom of the cake. Cut two squares of half inch by half inch and to a square of a quarter inch by half inch and place them on the side of the cake. This will be like the window. Cut four circles with the tip of the pastry bag and place only two on the top front part of the cake. Then a small strip for the top part and to make the funnel just mold a little of black fondant and insert a toothpick. Decorate with a little fondant around the top. Now roll out red fondant and cut a long strip enough to go around the cake and place it on top of the black strip. Also place the other two black circles on top of the red fondant. For the wheels we can cut out four circles of the blue fondant. Now that you have the blue fondant on hand, make the steam dome that goes on top of the center of the cake. Cut out the circles in halves and place them with some water on top of the black strip, four on each side. With a black edible marker, draw a half circle and the lines of the wheels in each side of the cake. Decorate with some yellow royal icing, the details of the windows and the front of the train. With a red royal icing pastry bag, decorate the lines and details of the sides. To make the face, Roll out gray fondant, measure the cutter and use the one that fits best. Cut two circles and with the round tip, cut two small circles. Cut the top part and place it on top of the big circle as his forehead. Mold the nose and place it in the middle of the face. Then roll a small snake with your fingers and place it under the eyes jaw and mouth. Flip the circle over and shape to reveal the face. With the round tip make the mouth. Make two little white balls for the eyes. Cut any excess of the face. Place the eyes with some water and with a black edible marker make the eyebrows and finish the eyes. Place the face on the train with some water and smooth the border. You can see the finished cake in my blog, which I'll put the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget you can put your requests for recipes in the comment section below. Thanks again and see you next week.